I've always found it difficult to talk about my art, and I think I know why. To me, painting is very much like dreaming, in the sense that, like dreams, you're conjuring something from the very depths of your subconscious. A dream is a message to your conscious self from somewhere deeper in your mind, that part of your mind that stores and constantly processes everything. I believe painting is very much the same, but instead it's a message to the public. It comes out in symbolic terms. And with my own work, I never set myself a theme. Instead, I just let it flow and then interpret what it is that comes out. And what comes out is often expressed in mythological terms. It's psychedelic and erotic, full of tension and love. And now I have these images, and I believe whatever message they hold isn't just for me, but also for other people. What I create clearly mirrors existing myths, but other times it's conveying something different. It's something more intimate that I'm not exactly willing to nail down. Now, consciously, I believe the biggest issue people have in today's society is a lack of meaning. All the grand narratives have been stripped away and they're constantly being criticized. Today, criticism is the dominant force in thinking itself. Criticism of tradition, of a family, of religion, man, woman, all the way to absurdity at some extremes where science itself is under attack. And now I'm someone who's very open to ideas and I can recognize valid criticism, but so often things that people believe in are deconstructed with nothing better offered to replace them. And people are just left in this existential chaos where they latch onto whatever ism comes along and validates their own personal shortcomings. And I refuse to live that way, and I refuse to let things get any worse. And while I don't prescribe to a religion or ideology, I refuse to let myself become nihilistic. I think meaning comes from taking on responsibility, and the greater the responsibility, the greater the meaning. You should take on something so grand that it transcends the bounds of daily life like religion would. And I believe the human race has the potential to spread out into the galaxy to evolve and seed an infinite diversity of beauty and life. And that goal's almost spiritual in its scope, but it's based in reality. And now imagine taking responsibility for that future and break it down. Ask yourself whether your art or whatever your chosen vocation is, is such that it inspires the spirit of mankind towards the stars. <laughs> now, now, obviously that in itself is quite grandiose and extremely difficult, but if you have already taken personal responsibility for the galactic human diaspora, then you have the responsibility to try. And suddenly all of your actions have meaning and everything is filled with hope, you know. I think you owe it to yourself 